Hey everybody, it's Tim Hinton, the Beast of the Marching Arts here from MarchingArtsEducation.com and the Marching Roundtable. Look who's here, two of the gurus from the Phantom Regiment Expert Lesson Series. Ethan Munger, how are you, Ethan? I'm doing well, thanks for having us, Tim, appreciate it. Absolutely, thanks for being here to talk with me today. And Frank Chambers, how are you, Frank? I'm living the dream. Get to teach an instrument I'm passionate about all the time. So we are here to talk about what these experts did, Ethan, was uh, is teaching the trumpet, euphonium, and tuba core, so that's interesting. And then Frank is teaching the bassoon, which is exotic and really hard to do. So I think that's going to be really interesting to talk to them. Of course, the Phantom Regiment has created this new expert lesson series. This is for beginning musicians. Go to marchingartseducation.com. Right there on the first page is a graphic, or go in the first menu says Phantom Regiment, you can click on it, it'll take you right to it. So this is help for beginning musicians. So if you're a parent, you have a beginning musician at home, hopefully you would sign them up and they would have videos at home from these experts, sort of extra private lesson help at home to get them to practice more and keep them on track and, and help fill in any blanks they may have from their own teachers. And if you're a music teacher, you can sign up your entire set of students for one really, really low price because we have introductory prices going on. So Ethan, tell everybody um, where it is you are in the world and where you teach. I live in Keller, Texas. Um, I actually went to high school in Keller too, moved out to go to Texas Tech and then came back around here. Um, and I teach in Trophy Club, Texas, about 20 minutes away at Medlin Middle School, which feeds into Byron Nelson High School. So we're part of Northwest ISD. Very cool. So since you did so many different instruments for the course, I don't know which mm -hmm. one is your main instrument. Like which one do you claim right, is right. your main I'm a euphonium player by trade. Um, I, yeah, my degree is in euphonium performance and music education. I, I do like to think and not like self braggy. I think I'm a brass specialist at this point. Like I think that I've got a pretty solid fundamental foundation on all of the instruments, um, which is kind of cool. Um, but when it's all said and done, euphonium is the one I can play some some difficult music on. All the other ones, it's just long tones and, and fun stuff. No, like but that. but that's the thing. It's like you're gonna you can help anybody who's a brass player be oh, a yeah. much better brass player. And that's the whole point of this expert lesson series. Now, Frank, mm -hmm. you're a bassoonist and you teach bassoon. Where are you in the world and where do you teach? Um, I live in Spring, Texas, which is just north of Houston. Uh, and so I teach uh, the bulk of my students are in Conroe ISD. So that would be like the Woodlands, Texas, Conroe, Texas. Um, and then quite a few students that live here in Spring. It's, it's, a, it's a community with a lot of different names, but we're all just basically north Houston. Um, so I, yeah, I teach full-time private lessons, 50 kids a week or more, uh, depending on the school year. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of kids. I see a lot of bassoon and, uh, I've done private lesson teaching for over 20 years. And I'll tell you what, um, my kids are probably some of my biggest teachers in doing this because they all have unique problems and issues. And, and I've had to learn to figure out what they do to help them be successful. And that's sort of, dictated my whole bassoon concept. This is, you know, the, the way that I teach this has to do with what makes young kids successful. Well, that just makes perfect sense to me. Like if you've had all these beginning students and you work with students all the time, you know that things are that they're probably going to mess up and what the special challenges are. And like, that's exactly who I would want helping my beginning bassoonist. So, I mean, it sounds like you're perfect for this. Now I have to back up a second. Did you say 50 private students a week? Yeah, I like to keep busy. Um, and funny story, I was a band director as well. I taught high school band and ran a marching program. And so when I decided that the classroom component of teaching um, was not as attractive to me as this, the one on one private lesson teaching, um, and I left, even having at that time 80 students a week was a break compared to what I was doing as a band director. So wow. I've whittled it down over the years to 50. <laughs> and it's it feels like just enough. Yeah, well, no no question about it. I mean, there's no harder working person in the world than a band director. And if Absolutely. you don't know that people, you need to learn this and you need to like take them baked goods or like give them gift bags. It's like there's nobody the worst. And Ethan, you know this. I mean, you're you're are you teaching any private lessons or are you just super busy as a band director already? I'm super busy as a band director already. We do supplemental lessons on off periods and lunch periods to try to, you know, kids who are behind, try to catch them up. And then because of the virtual component of COVID-19, we're spending a lot of time pre-recording videos, um, recording section rehearsals and posting them on. And then uh, I guess you could consider an extension of the school day that most private or not private lesson teachers, most band directors are familiar with is the section rehearsal. 
either before school, after school, or both. And in my case, it is both four days a week. So it's a lot. <laughs> it's I'm great. telling you, I don't know when either of you sleep, but I just I don't, that just seems crazy to me. But the point is, everybody watching, we're talking about the Phantom Regiment has a new expert lesson series for beginning musicians at marchingartseducation.com. They're really super low introductory prices. And these are two of the experts. I got to tell you, this is who I would want helping my beginning musician. Like these guys have been around. They know they're spending a lot of time teaching young players. So Ethan, which was which was harder? Which was harder for you? There's a euphonium tuba course or a trumpet course. Was one trickier than the other, or like were there any certain challenges for one or the other? I honestly not particularly. It's uh the biggest. It's it's not that any was harder than the other. The biggest challenge was boiling down all of the things that I do by rote in the beginner class, um, and writing them out in a way that a kid can understand and is still like you know logically sequenced and scaffolded so that the kids are always just gaining one skill at a time and not getting overwhelmed. That has been the toughest trick because I do so much by rote with like long tones and articulation exercises and stuff like that. So that the kids aren't spending their brain power reading. They're using their ears and they're thinking about their tone and their airflow and all that good stuff. Um, so kind of a, not abandoning it, but figuring out like I can't trust a kid to do all of that on their own because they're not going to be able to memorize it. Um, that was something that I had to come to terms with and had to really think about when writing out the exercises and thinking of how we're going to structure um, the different exercises being introduced week to week. Yeah, so that's what's so great about this, everybody, is these are videos that the student, beginning student, can go home, and I think they're more likely to practice because they have this video, they turn it on, there's Ethan's smiling face saying, hey, let's play, let's play today, and they have songs to play along with, and they introduce concepts, new concepts each week as they go through. So it's sort of like supplemental to the classroom experience if they're already getting that instruction, or, of course, if they are somebody that's at home or starting on their own, they can use this to start from the very beginning. So Frank, I would think that starting bassoon students, it's especially difficult. I mean, it just seems like, I mean, am I, am I giving, I don't want to like take anybody, I don't want to tell anybody not to learn bassoon, but it strikes <laughs> me as just being, you know, bassoon is hard. It's hard. It's, uh, you know, I like, I like to believe that it's the hardest instrument um, I know Obi Obo uh, gives it a run for its, you know, its money. And French horn is a, an amazingly difficult instrument as well. Um, nice, so thank you like, very much. They're all in their own category up at the top, right? Right. Uh, so, and and with be beginning students, often, you know, band directors in junior highs and middle schools will only have two, three, four at the most beginning bassoons every year. And unless they're getting that one-on-one -on -one attention in a class that only has bassoons, you know, the band director often really has to spend most of its, their time wrangling the 20 flutes or the 20 saxophones that they're in the class with. And so those kids, while they do get attention from the band directors, I understand that like the bulk of their attention is not on the bassoon. So, you know, that adds a layer of difficulty that private lessons is able to sort of fill in those gaps there. And with uh, a series like this, um, you know, even if, you know, the kids have that good instruction. The trouble is, you know, there's there, there's also not a bassoon person talking to them. So I approach it, the teaching with that, that, hey, you know, we're in the same boat. I was where you were when I was a beginner and I didn't have a lesson teacher uh, until I was in seventh grade. And so I know all of the things that I did wrong that I had to then change. So having that person you know, holding your hand and walking you from step to step to step from day one is really important to the success of a kid. And and um, I've seen so many kids who didn't have a lesson teacher quit because they were frustrated and they felt alone. They didn't feel like, you know, they had any buddies who could commiserate with them. So uh, I, I like to think that this this program will give those kids that connection and that help so that they don't feel lost. Yeah, I think that's the main thing that a parent would like. You know, we're talking about if you have a student at home and you want them to be successful, you want them to love it and stick with it. And that's what we all want if our student's starting a new skill. So we're, our subscription at the introductory price is really an embarrassingly low $9.95 a month. So you're saying, okay, $10 a month, I can get this instruction. They can have this video to watch every single night as they're practicing. They're more likely to learn the things they do. They need to know to keep going and be successful and like I said a minute ago, you get, Frank's going to be there every night. They can turn on it. Let's play along. See what it's, I can hear what Frank, I can hear Frank play it. Oh, that's what it's supposed to sound like. I hear what the tone's supposed to sound like. 
I play along. Like it's just a great, great resource. So parents, if you know anybody that's a parent of a beginning musician, um, please let them know that this is now here. Now, Ethan, you have a Phantom Regiment connection, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I spent the last, well, it would have been three summers since, you know, um, I spent the last, what would have been three summers on the brass staff at the Phantom Regiment, um, working with like Brad Toth, who was the brass caption head. Um, I actually am no longer on the brass staff. Um, due to COVID-19 and, you know, I, I recently, I bought my first house and I'm, I just feel like it's time to take that separation. You know, this would have been my 10th year straight of drum corps, um, which wow, is a my point is, you, My point is the regiment is out there. They're, they're here to try to help, right? They're oh, saying, yeah, okay, sure. let's use our great people and let's use our brand to help get information to people. So the regiment is full of great brass players and great brass instructors. And sort of, we're sort of bringing that to this. Yeah, it's um yeah, there's full of brass, great brass teachers and great percussion instructors, of course. Um, but I, I think what's really cool about Phantom is that there's a commitment to overarching overarching music education, you know, more holistic music education, which spawned the idea to bring in um, woodwind specialists, like true expert specialists. Um, right. You know, I could you could have me in there trying my best to play bassoon, um, or you could have you know Frank Chambers, um, which is somebody who's a really incredible teacher and musician. And I, I think it's great that an organization that's you know not known for the Woodwinds took the initiative and was pragmatic enough to go, no, we need to put together a product that's absolutely exceptional for every single instrument. Right. They're here to help music educators. Now, Frank, the yeah. other thing about this that I think is interesting is that I remember when I was I was teaching beginning musicians and I was a brass player. Now, I knew how to teach the Woodwinds to play like, you know, I felt equipped to at least teach them. But the point was something like bassoon would have been especially hard for me. So I'm thinking if I was an, a music teacher with beginners, I would probably sign up for this so I could watch your videos and make sure I was teaching the bassoons right, correctly. Yeah, that's, and, and the way that I approach the, the lessons themselves, um, I, I give information to the kids. I talk to the kids directly, but I do it in a way that, yeah, the band directors definitely can sit there and take notes. And so they can repeat the same verbiage and practice the same exercises in their classroom um, to strengthen up the kids' fundamentals every day. So, yeah, absolutely. This is this is something that will benefit band programs for a long time, as long as they are, are doing these same kind of fundamental concepts from the very beginning. It's not just for kids. It's This is like an educational masterclass for people who are less familiar with instruments like bassoon or oboe. Because I mean, for real, how many bassoon and oboe band directors are there out there? So, and uh, I took woodwind methods when I was in college and we spent six classes learning how to teach the bassoon. That is not enough to learn how to teach the bassoon. Um, and so unless you've been teaching for 30 years and you've had lots of students over that time, you probably don't feel super confident when you stand in front of that giant piece of wood in a, 10 year old's hand to like really give them the good information that's going to set them up for success. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sitting here thinking if I was a music ed student, you know, and I'm getting ready to go out there and be a band director, I would probably sign up for this for t less than $10 a month and look, you know, look through this stuff because I want to know how to teach set my students up for success. Oh, so that's a whole nother population I hadn't even thought about. Yeah. Um, I'm actually teaching a woodwind methods course this semester at my alma mater, the, the University of Houston, um, teaching the bassoon component of it, um, primarily because this whole concept that I have is successful for young kids. And it really like if, if, if young band directors just use these steps that you see in the sequential sequential lessons, um, it sets those kids up from the very beginning to have success in all pro, uh, all areas of the bassoon. It, it, it prevents future mistakes if you start them the right way. And I think that's what's most important about this. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's that's why look, everybody that's watching, Ethan and Frank are two of the experts that created the Phantom Regiment Expert Lesson Series. It's at marchingartseducation.com and it's there for beginning musicians or for their teachers or for their parents. Everybody that needs to have this information. And Frank, you just mentioned that there's the, these experts have figured out, okay, for this instrument, what is the exact sequence that they need to have concepts introduced? Here are exercises and things to help them practice those. And then there's a video of that expert that I can watch over and over. I can play along with, like it just sets them up for success practicing at home. 
So Ethan, that's the thing. It's like, I think students are more likely to practice and be successful practicing at home if they have this extra video content. Yeah, I absolutely agree that it's not only having the uh, the oral representation, you know, in high quality, high definition recordings, both visually and audio wise, um, but the daily reinforcement, you know, so they don't get home and go, oh, what did we do today? I mean, I remember when I was in middle school, that happened to me like every day. I would get home and be like, I didn't learn anything today. Of course, I learned several things that day. But, you know, when you're that young and you're not sleeping a ton, and you're moving fast to your day, it can be hard. So having an, an available resource like this to just keep them focused uh, and keep the information right there at the, in their palm of their hand, right at their fingertips, uh, I think is crucial for their development. So it's one of the more exciting things about this program. I'm really appreciative of it. Yeah, it's really great. So Frank, give me an example of something that beginning bassoonists need to know that's sort of special to them. Um, so read and vocal. So the vocal is the little silvery metal piece that comes out of the bassoon for people who aren't familiar with uh, bassoon lingo and the reed. Um, most beginning books just jump right onto the instrument and start to develop embouchure concepts and stuff while they're doing their fingers, right? And that's just way too many things for a 10 year old to think about when they've never even had to do anything with their face. So we start out in this with read and vocal and we use read and vocal to develop what they're doing in the oral cavity, the space inside their mouth, with their teeth, with their tongue position, how their lips are shaped. We focus on just let's produce a sound. Then we focus on producing a particular pitch that defines a range of notes on the bassoon. And then we learn those notes. Then we learn a different pitch that defines a different range of notes on the bassoon. And then we learn those notes. And then a third pitch that defines the highest notes on the bassoon. And then we focus on those notes. So this is something I rarely see in classrooms, but I think it's probably the number one uh, item that can come away from this series that will set bassoonists up for success. It's just using the read and vocal and using it the right way, both on your own and in your classroom. You know, we're talking about the Phantom Regiment's expert lesson series at Marching Arts Education, a set of video lessons on every main instrument that students can use at home to practice. And, and Frank, I love how you're saying this very methodical thing, and it's methodical specifically for that instrument. So no matter what kind of instruction they're getting at school or from their private lesson teacher or whatever, here's another resource that takes them through in a logical order. I think that's that's just helpful. Ethan, you did trumpet and euphonium and tuba courses. Give me an example of something for one of those instruments that you that's in the course that would be specific to them. Yeah, I think you know for for really something that that works for all brass instruments, especially when you're a young player, range and flexibility happen in the stepwise intervals first. And the tone quality has to be consistent when playing half steps and whole steps above all else. So when trying to develop that, you know, higher range, lower range, whatever you're really working on, I think limiting, at least initially, limiting the amount of partial slurring that you're doing. And rather than doing that, just having them play little mini pentascales, tetrachords, stuff like that, slurring through it. So they have a nice lateral airstream and a nice, really just consistent vibration across all note changes. That's your foundation for how to have a really consistent sound going into the upper registers or the lower registers. From there, is when you should start to add in thirds, fifths, open harmonic slurs, things like that. I think that's a really logical way to get a consistent embouchure setup, consistent amount of airflow, and then as a result, a consistent quality of tone. Yeah, as a brass player, that makes perfect sense to me because you, you have to have a certain amount of skill and strength in your embouchure to be able to do all those slurs in the open partials and stuff. And and that's often, I think, band directors just start there because that's the warm up we all do, you know, mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm not, nope, not saying anything wrong about all you band out there. You're doing a great <laughs> job. But the point is, here's another resource to help each student on their own instrument. There's flute, there's oboe, there's clarinet, there's saxophone, there's horn, trumpet, trombone, euphonium, tuba. All those instruments have their own, did I forget one? All those instruments have their own specific expert and their own set of video lessons. And the first six are out right now. And then every week over the next six, there's going to be another lesson starting in January. There's going to be another weekly lesson that comes out each week for 12 weeks. So there's going to, there's a lot of content. And the idea is if you're a parent, just get a subscription. You have, you have, you have the month to month, you just keep subscribing. And that way your student can always go back, get the new lesson and review the old lessons. And if I'm a band director, I can sign up all my students for one really embarrassingly low price right now. We have this introductory price. If you, if you get locked in right now and for the whole year, all your students 
can turn on these videos and have access to them. So it's really, it's really a great deal. We need to start wrapping up this conversation. I'm going to ask each of you anything you want to say about what your part in this was or why you were a part of it or anything you want to say. Frank, I'll start with you. Anything you want to say about the course or your role in it? Um, so my role of it, uh, role in the course as the bassoon person, um, I think really stems out of my uh, experience as a teacher and the way that I teach and, and my own personal history is having been a band director having been a product of the University of Houston system, which is a really strongly focused on fundamentals um, and having some really amazing band directors who uh, taught me sort of how to hear music and break it down, like if, break down problems into their physical elements and then reconstruct a concept of teaching out of that. So being a private teacher in North Houston, having success sort of brought me into the program. Um, and, and yeah, what I'm really excited about is just seeing kids out in the middle of nowhere who've never had access to a symphony musician um, suddenly developing and blossoming into fantastic bassoon players because they have an opportunity to learn that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Right. They're getting special instruction on their instrument. They're hearing a great model, make great sounds, and then they try to match that and they get to play along. I think playing along with the expert is, is probably my favorite part of all this, because if I'm at home practicing by myself, it'd be fun to turn on that video of my instructor and play along with them. I feel like I'm really getting somewhere. Ethan, what do you want to say in closing about your part of all this? Uh, I think that I reached a similar conclusion to Frank, but I reached it through drum corps. So I, I performed and taught with people from Southern California, Northern California, Chicago, the Midwest, Denver, like all over the place. And I have a lot of friends who had some crazy habits playing their instruments. And I mean, I being like a, a, a Texas product, I had a pretty good fundamental setup. Um, and I would ask them and kind of talk about their band experience. And they're like, oh, yeah, we did marching band. And then we had band once a week. And I would just watch YouTube videos to learn how to play my instrument. And that was like, you never had a private lesson in your life? And they're like, no, I've never had a lesson teacher. And I was like, oh, man, I'm really fortunate. I've had so many great lesson teachers that provided me with all this cool information. And, of course, great band directors. So to be able to at least give some of that information, you know, and, uh, and give hopefully provide um, maybe not the exact replication of an in-person private lesson, but but a really close second um, and something that can still be incredibly beneficial. Hopefully that's going to get those kids who would otherwise not experience that high level musicianship. I hope that it opens the door for them. Yeah, you know, if you go to marchingartseducation.com and go to the course page, there's a graphic right there on the home page. Go right there to it or just put Phantom Regiment or Expert Learning Series or whatever you want to put any in the search bar, you'll find it. Um, you will see that it keeps saying extra help. This is extra help, right? So if your your student can use this course to learn to play the instrument, but we, the concept really is it's extra help for them. If you're a parent, you want your student to be successful. If you're a band director, you want them to practice more and get extra help from really sort of a private teacher set up in these videos at home. So we hope that you'll go to marshallarseducation.com and check it out. Frank and Ethan, you both have done great, great work. I know you've worked really hard. Everybody, these experts have put in many, many hours preparing all this content. There are handouts, there's videos, there's, there's all kinds of content that's available and more and more is going to be coming. So I want to thank you guys for all your hard work and for being a part of this project. I think it's going to help a lot of students. We hope so. Yeah, we hope so. Thank you, Tim. Absolutely. Yeah, I think they have a lot of band directors too. So if you know a band director that could use his help for their students and who doesn't, or if you know a band director at a high school who would like his beginners to be better when they get to that person in the high school, or if you know a parent who has a student that's trying to learn. Anyway, all those people can help from this. Go to marchingartseducation.com and check it out. Frank and Ethan, thank you guys. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yeah.